this was the first scene you ever edited, right? This was, yeah, I mean, fortunately, when you're working with somebody, especially somebody like Jerry, they want to give you every opportunity to learn and to show what you've learned, and, and, to, and you learn by doing. And uh, Brian De Palma had three, had three rooms on the third floor of, of uh, 1600 Broadway, and two of them were editing rooms, and one was a storage room, and where we kept a spare moviola, because you always had to have one in case something broke, you needed an immediate re replacement while you waited for the repairman to come and fix the rubber grommet or whatever the heck it was that was breaking. So we kept a spare back there, so Jerry said, okay, why don't you take this scene and go in the back of where the spare moviola is and use that and put this together and we'll look at it and we'll talk about it. And so, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the moviola, but you would, you would run this motor forward and backward, and I was so unsure about my decisions, I'd go forward and backward, and the, the, move, the, the motor eventually started smoking and overheating <laughs> because I'd been going back and forth because I was so indecisive. Uh, and of course, after it was done, I showed it to Jerry, and he helped me fix it up and, and polish the scene and make it what it is. several occasions working on Brian De Palma films, he would have a big set piece, and uh, in those instances he would storyboard them. Uh, so he could plan it out and just have, he always had it in his head, but he was planning it out, maybe it was for other people's benefit as well. And uh, a lot of people would use the story, people use the storyboards obviously to see what directors, uh, what he's thinking and what, what the shots are intended for. And I always sort of challenged myself uh, in subsequent years when I was the editor on my own, and, and in a fun way in that I wouldn't look at the storyboards. And then I would edit this big scene together, and when I was all done, be, before I showed it to Brian, I would then review the storyboards to see if I was in the ballpark or how close I came. And uh, it was a lot of fun to do that and a part of the learning experience. Well, you, it's sort of like you're wondering, I wonder what piece of film Jerry's gonna ask for. <laughs> Brian often used a split diopter or split screen, and in this case, it starts out full screen, obviously, and then it was an, a, a film optical effect where we put in the, uh, John Alanya, I think it was, was the optical guy, who put in the gallery of people on the right side, eventually zoomed back. And Ralph Boda was the cinematographer. He was responsible for those. I asked him when we were timing, when Jerry was timing the picture about those, uh, the effect of the lights having that star effect, and he had, done that specifically, it was really but, cool. But it's definitely a play on voyeurism and the audience and who is the crazies and who are the... Right, yeah, it gets it. A lot of, a lot of Brian's themes are uh, present in that scene.